So guys, welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today is an unboxing video for Drop Zone Commander 2 Player Box Set. Now I know what you guys are thinking. There's a new version 2 coming out in April. Why would you unbox this one now? Well, we'll unbox this one now because it's cool. Um, yeah, version 1 is still playable. Um, and if you guys are into Drop Zone, I definitely think you should still be playing it. This set is still awesome value. Great models. Great scenery. Yes, you get a rule book in there that maybe by April won't be useful. But the rest of it is totally worth it. As you can see with all of our unboxing videos. Still got the plastic on. These aren't any. We've had a look through it and seen if there's any problems, etc. Beforehand, this is a genuine first stop unboxing video. So, let's get in there. Now, you guys will have seen we started to put drop zone based content onto our site um, onto our channel sorry uh, with my Shaltari and um, this is going to be a project that Alan and I are working on together um, I'm still painting on my Shaltari and that's still my main tournament based army however UCM are cool I've always wanted UCM I've had UCM in the past and I built them painted them never played with them so sold them on and I've regretted it um, and Alan's going to be getting the Scourge, so we're going to build them together, paint them together, play some games together. Kind of like we're doing with our Tale of Two Idiots, um, only on a Drop Zone Commander base scale. So let's get this box open straight away there. There's some beautiful layer of bubble wrap, keeping it protected, which is awesome. Now, this is the first time that I've ever actually seen any of the Drop Zone plastics. Because when I first got all my Drop Zone stuff, uh, Drop Zone purely came with resin-based models. So I'm quite excited to have a look at these and see how they differ. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll look at what you get in here. You get dice. You get a little tape measure. And this is quite cool, actually. Now look at that bad boy. Little Hawk War Games logo on, you know, show your colours and whatnot. That's awesome. Uh, we will look at the models, but we're going to look at those in a bit. Um, full thick rule book with the cards behind now, as you can see there. This is for, oh, sorry about that, it's for 1.1. .1. So I'm just going to whip the plastic off this bad boy. Um, we will be doing a video showing you how to put together the plastic scenery set, sorry, the cardboard scenery separately. So don't worry too much about that now, guys. I'm just taking the wrapping paper off the Drop Zone Commander main book. And we'll have a look here. You've got the rule book. You've got the cardboard versions of the templates. You have a quick reference guide for both the UCM and the Scourge. Uh, you have a full building thing. Uh, you have a little advert for the products, and that's the KR case I have. Only mine's a UCM, uh, no, UCM, a Shaltari one. And then it shows you some of the other products inside, and then it shows you the cityscape scenery. So let's drop all this to one side for now. I mean, I'm talking quite fast and quite excited here, but that's because I absolutely love Drop Zone. Um, yeah, you get the UCM cool map. Um, I'm going to fold this out now. You guys are just looking at an empty box. <laughs> as soon as I've got it folded out, I will show you, and I'll zoom out so you can see it a bit better. So it's got a really cool poster on one side. And then on the other side, it has this bad boy, which is the map with all the street roads and things like that. And as I said, really, really cool poster um, there. And we will get some photos of this that go up on our Instagram so that you can see it in more detail, as we always do. We try and, you know, give you everything, even if we have to spread it out over our different social media platforms. Um, but yeah, I'm just opening the other map now. Oh, the poster on the back of this one's even cooler. I would potentially buy a set of this. Well, I mean, the buildings and stuff could be used anyway. 
but I would potentially buy a set of this just to get each of the posters framed. Um, alternatively, I might make my own board and frame these posters anyway, because they're cool. So there we have it. So it's the cover of the book. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. And uh, we'll have a quick look at the buildings. We're not going to build them today, as I said. We're going to do that as a separate video. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about everything I've seen so far, as may be fairly obvious to tell. Um, here you have the buildings, and they just pop and clip. Um, and you get a ton of them. You really do one, two, three. See, I can count whatever you people on the internet say. Four, five, uh, six seven and again we'll use our instagram to put some better pictures of these up eight nine and that one's a really big one actually ten so you get ten um, buildings in there and i can't wait to throw those together as i said um, uh, the basic dice and they're just they really are just basic you know take it or leave it dice that's neither here nor there that's not too important um, as long as you get dice, I mean, they don't need to have symbols on or anything like that. Like as in like a UCM symbol on the set, so that kind of thing. They're cool as they are. And then here's all your flying stands. Then there's all your bases. And we will get another video just showing you how to put the Scourge stuff together in one and the UCM stuff together in another. Um, as I said, I've not used these plastics before, so look at these. It's really, really cool, really detailed. I mean, this plastic is really, really nice. Um, I said, I've only used the resin in the past for my sins, as it was. Yeah. The detail on the small models is, looks even nicer in the plastic as well, which I was a bit shocked about. You know. And then here they are, the UCM. And as I said, you do get the instructions to put these together as well. So if you're not massively experienced at building miniatures, they are very plug and play, just clip together. I definitely don't remember the resin ones being in this many parts, but that's fairly natural, I guess. Um, because they wanted to put them on a sprue and it's easier with a sprue to just bundle them together like this and pop them together. But yeah, I believe like your tanks, I think they were all one part with a turret separate. I could be wrong. It's a, like, I mean, now we're talking when Drop Zone first came out. Um, that, that was my big thing. I love to Drop Zone and still do. Um... So yeah, that's the contents of the box. As I said, you get two maps, you get the full rule book, you get all your tokens and you get two starter armies. I think the only thing you need to add to these uh, starter armies to make them usable is like a command, but I could be mistaken. They may already have a command in there. I shall let you know once they're all built up. So yes, guys. Thank you very much for taking a look at it. Next videos we're going to do, as I said, I'm going to show you how to put the buildings together. Uh, then we're going to do how to put the Shaltari and how to put the UC... Sorry, not Shaltari. How to put the UCM and how to put the Scourge together. And then you'll get to see us play some games and me teach Alan how to play it and, you know, all that good stuff. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take the time to like, to subscribe... Um, hit that bell so you get notified of any new content we've got coming up. If you've never played Drop Zone before and you're thinking that it might be for you, definitely take a look at the starter set. As you've just seen, there's a lot of content with it. We are going to do an unboxing video shortly um, for Drop Fleet Commander, the two-player set, which also comes with UCM and Scourge, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, guys, break the dice gods and hope they smile upon you. Take care.